A third type of quadratic equation we solve is called Pythagorean's theorem, and that is used to find the lengths of different triangles, and specifically right triangles. And so the classic formula most students remember is a squared equals b squared plus c squared, but that really doesn't mean anything. Really what you're looking at is the leg of a, hypot of a triangle multiplied with itself times the leg of another triangle multiplied with itself is going to be equal to whatever the hypotenuse is multiplied with itself. And so this relationship exists for all right triangles where you have 90 degrees here. The hypotenuse again is the what we call the longest leg there it is. The long side is called the hypotenuse versus the other are called legs. The legs are always connected with the 90 degree or the right angle. So with those situations like that, if you have um, the legs of a triangle, here's 8 and 6, right triangle. It doesn't matter how I draw that right triangle. I mean, I could have drawn it this way. I could have said, here's the right triangle like that. Here's 6, here's 8. You just have to be able to envision it and know we talked about the legs and where the legs match up in a triangle. Once we know that leg and leg, it's leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, we have that relationship. And notice then we just substitute those numbers into the equation. Leg squared, leg squared, hypotenuse squared, 64 plus 36 equals the missing side squared. Now notice you end up with just a quadratic equation right here. Take the square root of both sides. What multiplied with itself equals 100. C equals plus or minus 10. But since we're talking about a distance, we know that answer is 10 feet. And so there's our solution. Let's try another one. Here's the situation, building a wheelchair or ramp to a door. Here's the ramp. You can imagine the ramp. And you have that set up right there. There's the ramp. Let me redraw that there. Right triangle. We know the height of the us two here. We want to know, we know the, the length of the ramp is eight. So we're really looking for this misting distance there. Notice the setup's a little different because in this case we have the leg. We know one of the legs. We know the hypotenuse, but we're missing this other leg, right? Because there's your 90 degrees, your leg and leg and hypotenuse. And so you're missing this here. And so here's the solution. X squared plus 2 squared equals 8 squared. Again, those numbers are the length of the sides of those triangles, the leg and the hypotenuse. Square those, and then it simplifies into a quadratic equation. Again, that is just following this formula here that works for every right triangle. Every right triangle has two legs and hypotenuse. And then you go ahead and solve it here, and you end up with the square root of 60. Again, it's plus or minus, but since we're talking about distances, we just keep the positive part. So this distance here would be 7.75. And then the last piece here we need to pay attention to. So that's Pythagorean theorem. We end this unit solving other types of solving other types of um, of um, power equations other than quadratics. We're not going to take the square roots. We take cube roots, fourth roots. And again, it all depends upon what the exponent is. So these are different questions here. Now, what multiplied with itself? 3 times equals 27. That equals 3. And so then we would end up having to take the cube root of both sides. Here, divide by 4, and then now take the cube root. What multiplied with itself? 4 times equals 50, 50. And so it's hard to do that in your head, so we need a calculator to do that. Let me show you what that looks like on 
Desmos. So when you get to Desmos here, oops, let's go. We need um, some special functions. You need the cube root. We'll find it somewhere. Where are my cube roots? Found it. Right here is the cube root and the root. So you can hit that one. And notice that you get a little number there. And so we want the first one, the cube root of 27 equals 3. That's what we did here. Cube root, that 3 there. Here, cube root of 14. Again, you're going to use this special button here, cube root. Put a 3 in there. And then 1, 4. And then you can see where you get your answer. And then on this last one, it's the fourth root of 50. The fourth root of 50. And so in this case, you would hit, again, that special root button. Fourth root. Fourth root of 50. And so now you have uh, this right here, 2.659. So that's where those numbers come from. When you take the roots there, and then I probably rounded that wrong actually. Let me double check. 2.659, so it should be 2.66 technically there. And then just again to solve one more, give you a geometry situation here. Take a look. Um, in this case, this is the volume, how much space is in a sphere. And so looking at this setup here, look at where we got these equations from. This is the volume for a, um, for a um, rectangular slab like this. It's just length times width times height. And so that's what you're setting equal to the sphere. You can follow the work, and by the end, again, that R is the radius of the this big grand circle here. And then you can see where we get these answers. And then again, you would take the cube root of both sides. That's it.